Okay, before I start today's RetroArch and Neo Geo setup guide for Windows PC or whichever device you're going to be running this on, if you like today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content here on my channel, just Jamie. That means you'll get notified every time I release a new setup guide and it really helps out my channel too. So I run a community post this morning and it looks like Emulation Station and RetroBat won the vote, but RetroArch still had some voters, so we're going to do Neo Neo Geo today through RetroArch. Now, around a year ago, I uploaded the Alpha version. That's Neo Geo Alpha or Final Burn Alpha. Today, we're going to be doing Final Burn Neo, which in some ways is much better than the other RetroArch guide I uploaded. So for this, we're going to need a Neo Geo zip. This is the BIOS file. We don't need to extract this one. It needs to remain .zip. And I've got a game to, to test this one out. So I've got a portable version just here here of RetroArch and what we're going to do first is just go to the system folder and this is where the Neo Geo BIOS or Neo Geo.zip is going to go. So like I said we don't need to extract that when it just goes in there like that. We also need to make a directory for our Neo Geo game so I'm going to create the directory in my RetroArch folder. So if I right click new folder I'm going to call this Neo Geo and as simple as that. So Neo Geo and I'm going to drag in my game which is Shock Troopers 2 which is one of my favourite Neo Geo games. Absolutely awesome. So what I'm going to do next then is open up RetroArch. So if I just scroll down, RetroArch.exe and the first thing I'm going to do because this is a new portable install of RetroArch I'm just going to turn this into full screen. So settings, video, full screen mode and start in full screen mode. And here we go. So it's always very important in RetroArch to save everything you do because it's very forgetful. So if we go to configuration file, save current configuration. And by the way, I'm using an Xbox controller for this. I'm pressing A to go into the options and B to come out. So next thing we need to do is actually download a core. Now, if you're new to RetroArch and you're not sure what a core is, I like to think of it as a micro emulator that works exclusively with RetroArch. We could download these under main menu inside online updater and we're going to go to core downloader and if we scroll downwards it should be around here so here it is arcade final burn neo if i press a and here we go so is that quick it's downloaded and it's installed it next thing we need to do then is actually look at importing our neo geo games so on the left hand side panel we're going to go to import content if i press right on my d-pad that's going to bring us over to the right hand side i'm going to drop down to manual scan content directory c drive and if i press up on my d-pad go straight to users and remember i'm pressing a to enter each one of these my systems folder name is jamie if i scroll down to desktop and press up on my d-pad retroarch folder and in here i should have my neo geo folder i've just created i'm going to go to scan this directory press a and press up on d-pad start scan press a and press b to come out now on the left hand side if we scroll down to the bottom here's neo geo here's my game shot troopers 2 if i press a i'm going to scroll down and i'm going to go to set core association final burn neo now it means every time we open up this game, it's not going to prompt us for which core to use. It's going to automatically open it up with that core. Now whilst I'm here, we can actually add games to favorites. If I press A on add to favorites and come out, we can then see under favorites, we got Shock Troopers 2. If I press A and run,
so everything's running fine and I just love this game so much. I think it's the music. I love the music to Shock Troopers 2, which was amazing. So what else can we do inside Retro Watch? So I'll just press the Xbox button or F1 on your keyboard. You can access the Retro Watch quick menu. From here, we can do a multitude of things. We can go down to save states. If we go to save state... And if I open up the quick menu again and go down to load state. Very cool stuff. Now we can also download some bezels for this. To do this, we're going to go to main menu, online updater. And if I go right to the bottom of this option, we can go to update overlays. And I'm also going to update Slang Shaders just here too. Okay, so once everything's extracted, first of all, we're going to add some overlays or bezels. To do this, we go to Quick Menu. And from Quick Menu, if we scroll down towards On-Screen Overlay, just make sure this one's turned on. Overlay Preset. Okay, if we go into Borders just here, we got a range of different borders to use. So for example, use Nez Integer. And once that's one in place, what we're going to do is just go back into the game. Now, as you can see, we now got an overlay applied. So, yes, it's not Neo Geo, but there's plenty in that folder to be taken a look at. So, remember, on-screen overlay, overlay preset. And you've got lots in here. If we go back up to parent directory, we got an effects folder too, where we can maybe add some scan lines to the game. So lots of different options just there for visuals. We've also got shaders folder. If we turn this one on, loads preset, shader slang. And in here we got various different shaders to use. So from here, if I go to CRT, I can check out a CRT shader. If I go into the game. And of course, we can use or check out as many shaders as we want. Just remember that in order to use those, in some circumstances, you might need to turn off on-screen overlay to get those shaders to work to their best effect. So if I go back to shader slang again, this time I'm going to go down to film and technicolor, which is a really awesome shader. If I go back into the game again... Okay, other things we can do in RetroWatch Quick Menu is manipulate how the game presents itself. So through RetroWatch Quick Menu, if I come out and if I go to Settings, Video, Scaling, Aspect Ratio, I can change this to a full screen. And as we can see in the background, we've now got full screen. Just remember that if you do put these on the full screen or 16 by 9 ratio, your game might look overly stretched. So if we go into the game and check this out. So like I say, this particular game does look stretched. So that's entirely up to you. Just remember, it's very important within RetroArch to always save everything you're doing. So to do this, just remember... Let's go to configuration file and save current configuration. Anyways, that's it for today's Retro Works in Neo Geo setup guide. Like I said at the start of the video, I covered Neo Geo around a year ago, uh, the alpha version of File Burn. So anyways, if you liked today's video, 
hit notifications, subscribe and like. I'll also leave pinned in my comments section my entire Retro Watch playlist. I've covered Retro Watch many times in the past and there's likely a guide on there that you're looking for. So check that one out. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But till next time, stay retro.